Nebraska and Maryland will be next. It is Ohio State, Indiana right now, and a ton of NCAA tournament implications, perhaps, and here we go. Ohio State will control the tip. The Buckeyes at 8 and 12 at conference play. Same record as Indiana, but Ohio State beat Indiana. Therefore, they get the 8 seed and will wear it. Indiana comes in here at the 9 seed, but ran hot. They've won four consecutive games. Gets up the first shot. And that'll be Indiana ball. First possession for Archie Miller's Hoosier. And you saw Indiana right away on that initial post touch to Wesson. The Hoosiers came down and doubled aggressively to get the ball out of his hand. Second Big Ten tournament for Archie Miller. Same for Chris Holden. Both have took his luck guys to the NCAA tournament a year ago. Jawan Morgan has really fouled his game as well. Seems to be featured more in Indiana's offense the last four. That includes wins over Michigan State and Wisconsin. The first off record in to end the year. This is his first try. Caleb Wesson follows a three. C.J. Jackson runs it down. The biggest question for Ohio John is how do they implement Caleb Wesson back into the mix? They lost three in a row, as you mentioned, but Wesson is fouled by Tennessee. Wesson is such a big presence, such a ball dominant post player who can shoot it from the outside. How does he fit back in? And getting him involved in the post is the absolute right way to do it. And a great post feed by CJ Jackson. It was away from the defense line and led Wesson right into a shooting motion. A very capable foul shooter at 73%. Wesson averaging 14 and a half points per game, nearly seven rebounds a game, and it gives the Buckeyes 26 minutes per game. Should be rested after three games off, about a week and a half. Jallo into the free throw line. And a nice job of recognizing you had the number situation. Jallo kind of lost it on the way up. He was hit, but he lost it on the way up. And Jallo coming off a really solid performance last time out, albeit in a losing effort. Six points, four assists, one turnover in 31 minutes. Good call. On the foul. And two shots for Musa Jallo. For Chris Holtman. He has been the coach of the year in three spots. Parker Webb in the Big South, Butler in the Big East, and Ohio State in the Big Ten. By the way, Gardner Webb going back to the NCAA to hold on his old stomping grounds. We're happy in Boiling Springs. <laughs> Tennessee, difference maker, right on the travel, turns it over. Now, Rob Tennessee being back, had concussion issues earlier this year, was into the protocol. And it looked like it took him a while to get back into the rhythm, and he's such an important piece to the Hoosier story. Especially his willingness to attack the basket. He was understandably reticent to do that coming off that hand injury he initially suffered versus Central Arkansas, but defensively he has been stellar since his return, most notably 
The test is Woodson in that big home win versus Michigan State. He's shot the woods, let it turn around. His body's hit the deck below. I think he is really critical to Ohio State's chances, not just here, but moving forward. A fifth-year grad transfer, somebody that can handle the basketball, a two-to-one assist turnover ratio, can also make shots and given the opportunity. Woods transferring to Forrest. Langford. Defender gets his own rebound, gets it, is Durham for three, the lefty, no. Another offensive board, Morgan this time, and a third chance for the Hoosiers. Morgan, Lesson clears it away for Ohio State. Neither one of these teams shoot the three all that well. It's not a strength, especially for Indiana. It did last to 31%. Indiana was the preseason third in the Big Ten. Been a disappointing year as Andre Wesson okay. was a little bit range. Nice utilization of the misdirection dribble. Brian C.J. Jackson dribbles right and throws it back left when the defense shifted accordingly. Good to see one go through. These teams combined three for 13 to start it. Smith Ooh, got it into the neck. Timeout on the floor. It is eight. Three, oh, okay, the West is having about 69 points per ball game, unable to crack into the 60-point barrier. We take a look at Indiana. Those two wins versus Michigan State really hop out at you, including that four-game winning streak, also a win versus Wisconsin. You see what they were able to do earlier in the season against Louisville and Marquette, but Brian, nothing happens in a vacuum. You watch the West Coast Conference, St. Mary's snatching up the automatic berth, bumping Gonzaga down into an at-large berth. There's a lot of moving parts as this thing unfolds. See Indiana had possession as the ball glanced off the rim. So Indiana after the block by Wesson. The ball back to Ohio State. That'll be a foul on the Hoosiers. Hoosiers have started this game one for nine. Indiana's 0 for their last six shooting the ball. Ohio State has had four different players score. A couple of those opportunities coming at the line. Remember, Ohio State started the last two games very poorly. 0 for 11 in their last matchup. Wisconsin, no block at the rim. That's out of bounds. Off of Caleb Wesson. Who's your... Ohio State trying to run, run a little bit of inversion. Deron Davis in, checking Wesson. They wanted to get Wesson on the move because they felt he could get to the rim on Davis. But a nice job by Deron Davis of taking away that chance. Devontae Green and Davis on the floor. Langford misses. Offensive board for Davis. Coming back from a Kelly surgery last year. Dealt with Davis as well. job of maintaining that anchor pivot foot and going to the left hand because Weston was expecting him to go over that left shoulder. And when Indiana talks about how they're getting healthy at the right time, Davis is the man to focus on offensive foul. Caleb Wesson barrels into Durham. It's going the other way. And this pass led Caleb Wesson into trouble. Even if he catches that cleanly, Brian, and that's a tough one to have go against your Caleb Wesson. I thought that the foot might have been in the restricted area as the secondary defender, but nevertheless, that pass led Wesson right into a difficult situation, even with a clean catch. What are you seeing out of Caleb Wesson early here, five and a half minutes into this one? You know, he's getting up and down the floor pretty well. He's been in the right position most times. What you're going to start to see maybe is a little bit of attrition because they've rotated different defenders on him, a different size and power guy, and Davis contrasting the board. So it's over. Green has been so good lately for the Hoosiers. This is his first chance. Here's Weston again. He'll fire another three, and he'll knock this one down. And you have to get the ball to the If you are Indiana, you really love to trail that play almost kind of a, a European style big game in that regard. Ohio State ball on the turnover. Caleb Wesson, 36% three-point shooter this year. His second attempt is true. And a nice job by Woods of drawing the deep and then waiting for the big guy to come down and put it right in the shooting pocket where he could go into his motion effectively. He'll get his first breather of the game. Kyle Young is in for Ohio State. Jello and Wesson, here's Woods with the ball. Wayne Washington also on the floor. Excellent. In the second half against Wisconsin in that overtime loss, but an impressive comeback for the Buckeyes. Andre Weston, and a foul by Jello. Two chances at it, nothing wrong for the Buckeyes. Morgan on the take, big one, no. Gets his own. Shannon away, Washington. Going to be strong with the ball down there, Brian. So impressed with Washington, who is always 
always eager to get a shot up. He is not afraid of playmaker. And he fires up the three. No. Davis wins it away. He's in seven in the And Indiana very fortunate because that quick shot by Devontae Green, Ryan effectively served as an outlet pass for Ohio State, but they just weren't able to convert when they had the number. Indiana one for six from behind the arc. We've seen five total field goals and six total turnovers already. And on the floor for the Buckeyes, the sharpshooter. As Orange checks in, the freshman he is an interesting weapon for Chris Holman. Somebody's got to be able to get him the ball, but in the open spaces, the green goes. Green rises, comes up short. CJ Jackson the board. Orange, 40% from behind the arc, career high 29 for the end of the conference season versus Iowa. And Holman. That side got lost the handle, but a foul. Davis kind of across the arm. He can win side. Try to stand that offensive route. Young, very effective, 69% field goal shooter. And they're not they're gonna call this on the floor. Baseline out of bounds. Evan Fitzner will check in for Indiana. We have Langford, Green, and Tennessee. Here's Arns. He's going to let him go. He's got to release. Tennessee, Broby, Green. Browns at home. It's a good combination with the two guards out here together. Tennessee and Green. And the difference between that shot and the one he missed earlier. For ball reversal, he swung the ball from side to side, and that allowed Green to get that rhythm hop and step into the shot confidence. Devontae Green coming off 16 points in Indiana's win against Rutgers. They put 89 on the board on senior day. And on the three-point attempt for Kyle Young. to the line with Devontae Green. He missed his first three percent from the floor and what Archie basically said to his guys is I like that you're driving, I like that you're aggressive, but I want you to start driving to pass and not just driving to try to force up a shot. They were also, Mike, really trying to go inside to get something going toward the basket. Neither team really lighting up the scoreboard to say the least. Indiana one for nine on two point attempts. Just slightly better from Green to two of seven. So, Ron Davis giving Indiana their sixth point off the bench, one for two. The Hoosiers have three points from their starters. Always interesting to watch on this. It was supposed to be a lob, but it hit the rim. Young was flying high. He was there. Pass never made it. into their set. Smart play by Green in the open floor to pull back out and not force anything. Davis, making his way in. Davis, a couple of moves out of strength. That's Luther Thomas on the court for the first time. He gets a steal. Gives it up. Washington. Good sequence there for the Buckeyes. That started on the defensive end. Luther Muhammad, a very active defender, not just moving his feet, but active hands. The dig out on Davis went on the floor and led to the breakout. Stops his round of about three and a half minutes. Davis goes strong again. Young with the block. Davis back to the free throw line. Let's go. 
no for example, last time down the floor for Ohio State, a defense leading to offense. Nice job by Weston of walling up in the active hands by Muhammad. Then he does the absolute right thing. He gets the ball toward the middle of the floor. Then he draws the defenders. Scramble situation for Indiana. They're not able to recover. A rare easy basket here in the early going for Ohio State. Friendly bounce for Deron Davis. 61% free throw shooter. Second time he's been to the line. Has been very active already. And with two fouls, Kyle Young will sit. Andre Wesson back on the floor. Davis went after him twice in the paint. And was able to draw a couple. Two for two this trip for Davis. And a good run for Deron Davis. Gets a nice hand on his way out as Juwan Morgan checks back in. He makes them a much different team. He gives them those solid bench minutes. Shoot 60%. You don't have to run anything for him, although they did a couple times trying to get Ohio State into foul trouble. He gets a lot of his stuff on second chance opportunities and put back. Jackson, two man game. And Wesson, Jackson will take it. Wesson there. And it is Jackson who comes away with the ball. New block for Ohio State. Hey. Wesson. And the foul. Brian, again, an outstanding court awareness play by Luther Muhammad. We saw him on the defensive end, but watch this post -team. It's so important to not just throw it to your teammate, but away from the defense. He threw it away from number 13, Morgan, in a place where only Wesson could get it, catch, gather, and then a really good job by Wesson of keeping his eye on the rim. But it started with a wonderful post feed from Luther Muhammad. Six points for Caleb Wesson. He hit a three earlier. Started here on BTN. The Hoosiers and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Gets the friendly bounce. Jawan Morgan. Jawan Morgan has been on fire. The reigning Big Ten player of the week after a 25 point performance against Rutgers in a turnover. That pass by Russ. No way that thing was going to get through. He's going to get Green's a lot like nuclear energy. When it's under control, it can light up the building. When it's out of control, he can be Chernobyl. Luther Muhammad for two. And it's Morgan who clears it. Good defense, Romeo Langford on the court side. And a nice shot by Morgan of getting his body on the larger Wesson. Langford's camping down in the corner. Four pass inside. Potential five-point swing to the favor of Ohio State. What I mean by that, the ill-advised pass by Devontae Green. He had a couple of really solid sequences. Then he tries to force a pass when there was nothing good that was going to come out of it. And as a result, a breakout opportunity and a transition three for Ohio State. Some bloody nose for C.J. Jackson. Larry Scarotto calling the timeout to make sure Jackson could get off the floor. Good recognition by the official. A gusher coming out of his nose. I didn't see the contact, but it was off the ball. And a little blood on the floor. Always got to have a good cut there. Wish for Pacheco when you need him. Athletic trainer Vince O'Brien. Attempting to C.J. Jackson. Indiana ball, eight and a half. Remaining in this first half. A huge game for both of these teams. Nice help there by Wesson to help his younger brother. Morgan just turned it over to the right hands of Muhammad. He shot the legs. How about the Morgan? And how about the pass in transition? Muhammad really giving Ohio State a lift off the bench. Nice two-man game. The bounce pass, excellent. Turnover number six for Indiana. There's a block on Muhammad. As the two nuns match up. Turnovers turning into buckets. Solid fundamentals. Wade won the key right now. Big two-point play. Now. 
for the visual learners at home, Brian. Here's a great example. Luther Muhammad, three assists, six total for the Buckeyes. Wonderful utilization of the bounce pass. Muhammad, a big lift off the bench. Three assists, no turnovers, and a steal. Four steals for the Buckeyes. They have nine points on turnovers. And a five-point lead with 7.45 remaining in the first. Al Durham goes, scores it, and a foul. Chance at a three-point trip for the Hoosiers. And Al Durham. Keyshawn Woods picks up the foul, his first. A little dribble handoff, and they're able to get Durham going to a strong or left hand. And that's one where you know that Woods wanted to take away that left hand, but that little bit of a rub screen could provide that opportunity. They're on a 74% free throw shooter. Gives up 7.7 points per game. Zach McRoberts on the floor for the Hoosiers. He checks Jallo. Good job on the far side by Morgan of not letting Wesson get his body into him. Justin Smith returns as well. This is the guy, if there's one guy that you would say that as he goes, go the Buckeyes because he's that ancillary piece that gives him so much. And with such a young squad providing some experience as well as the tangible. Grad transfer from Gastonia, North Carolina. Ed Green, no. Town with the board. Ohio State wants to push it. And wisely getting into the offense is Woods. Nice out again. Yeah, Taylor Wesson gets hey. Fires it off the backboard, gets his own. And who's that off of? That's going to be in the NFL. Last touch by Wesson. Without really good ducking by Caleb Wesson. But how about the collapse? Nice duck in. You get the defender on your back. There comes the red jersey. Not one, but two. Good job of Smith in particular of coming in there. And if you're Wesson, you've been far better served to chin it. When that extra help comes, kick it back out. But you can't fault the effort on the duck in by Caleb Wesson. Juan Morgan giving up about 40 pounds. And an inch of height just walled up. Did a good job. Smaller big man. Smith, the second free throw try. And he's 0 for 2. Got a whistle. The shot was in the air underneath. I believe it's going to Ohio State. And it's going to be on Musa Jallo. Chris Holton wants an explanation. Musa Jallo is first team seven. Jawan Morgan and Musa Jallo. It's the first. Let's check in with Mike Hall. He's got an update on CJ Jackson. Yeah, guys, he is okay. He's been cleared to go. They shoved a bunch of stuff up there, and it all dried up. But uh, he's still on the bench. It's up to Chris Holman now to put him back down. The official medical oh. explanation of Mike Hall. A bunch of stuff. And to think he didn't graduate from med school. <laughs> Good stuff. Two free throws for Morgan. Two-point game. Andre Wesson looking for his cross. Wesson started to throw the pass before he completely turned around and located the defense. Nice job of sniffing it out by Indiana. Tennessee gets it to Romeo Langford. is short. If you're Indiana, you've got to get Romeo Langford involved here. He's been quiet and get him going toward the basket. Smith with the board. Langford has just three points on one of four shooting. He's a one three pointer. He does have a couple of rebounds. Morgan, he goes and he finishes. He was under the back of the How about some strong hands by Morgan as well? A lot of traffic around there, but able to go up there with two hands and finish. Tie game at 22. He shot Woods. Sit down, delivered the contact, and then made the jumper. That was a tough shot, Brian, because I think he was looking to get it to Caleb Wesson on the dive. I saw him locate him with his eyes. And then when he saw that Wesson was covered, he went up into a shooting motion. That's a difficult shot by Woods. Woods hasn't missed. He's got eight. Wave it off. No shot. Foul on the floor. Take a look at the last play offensively for the Buckeyes. Number 32 turns the corner. He wants to get it to Wesson. He looked at it, took a glance before he went into a shooting motion. That's a really difficult play. Look at it right there. He kind of glances down to see Wesson. Indiana took that away. He makes it pay with a difficult shot by the transfer. So Keyshawn Woods, who had nine points but fouled out. 
against Wisconsin and Ohio State's loss, that overtime loss. And the foul, by the way, belonged to Muhammad. He'll sit with two. Keyshawn Woods has made the last six of Ohio State points. And look at Davis keeps it alive. And it gets it to Young. Coach Woods has gotten going. Finnessy, a tremendous ball. The ball defender has rotated over to Keyshawn Woods. Woods. Keeps it up, Jackson. Back on the floor after the bloody nose. Jackson. Ah, 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 and youngest foul. Young's playing with two fouls. He was pushed. And Young, the, only, the reason he was only able to get that left hand on the basketball he went after, usually you would get on a guy for not going after it with two hands, but that right arm where Young was kind of pinned to his side, and that official caught it. That's a second foul on Deron Davis. So Archie Miller will sub him out. Race Thompson is in for Indiana. 16 fouls now for the Hoosiers. Jackson. Young flies high for the board. Nice job by Young. Jackson. Shot caught. Ohio State again and organized. Young. Archie Thompson. All around wonderful play. Understanding you got to put your shoulder into the chest of the defender. Then the utilization of the two foot jump stop gave him momentum for that little baby hook. And a nice sequence right there by Kyle Young. Tennessee with Thompson. Gives it to Morgan for three. Wow. Matt Stafford's a never had it in the hand. And Indiana's three point woes continue. The Hoosiers. From behind the arc, 2-4-11. Langford's hit a three for Indiana. Devontae Green has the other. And a deserve rest for Jawan Morgan as we hit the four-minute mark in his first half. Both starting big, Morgan, Indiana, and Caleb Weston for the Buckeyes on the bench right now. Another three is out. Andre Weston knocks it down. Just the third three-point make for the Buckeyes. Stretching out their biggest lead now. It was tied at 22. It's a 7-0 run for Ohio State. Brian Durant, you have to get something going for Durant, preferably with Romeo Langford maybe coming off a little bit of a screen. Langford gives it up. Green for three. The answer. Bucky and Sons played by the three freshmen. Langford to draw all the attention. Ohio State was really wary of him turning the corner and scoring. He drew all the white jerseys and kicked it out to Green. Archie Miller. Telling us earlier today, no freshman carries the burden that Romeo Langford does for a team. He is the number one option. He is the guy that every team game plans around. That's a whistle, and that's going the other way. That'll be an offensive foul. Indiana ball will be continued. Three minutes, two minutes remaining in the first half. Two teams on the bubble trying to make a run at a Big Ten title. In the evening, should Penn State and Minnesota, Illinois and Iowa. Penn State 7-3 in their last 10. Minnesota got a much-needed win at home versus Purdue in the penultimate game of the regular season. They ran into a buzzsaw at Maryland, and then Illinois gets a chance to get a return match against Iowa. The first time those two teams met in Iowa City, the Hawkeyes hit 10 threes to start the ball. Langford gets the shot out of the timeout, gets his own board. Langford misses again. Two more misses for Langford. He's one for six to start this game. Langford's been quiet. Indiana had a lead at 3-2. That's been their only lead. Ohio State has Durham. And the other end. Langford looking for Jackson. No whistle. Ohio State looking to run. Excellent defense. Steve Wilson. Got it. Big man running the floor. And yeah, nice job of waiting. But didn't give him the ball too early. A lot of times you'll see a guard give it to the big, maybe a step, step and a half too early. They didn't do that to Wes. And as a result, he's able to just catch, gather, and complete. 11 fast break points. Devontae Green, every time Ohio State tries to get a run, Indiana has had an answer. Largely 
for the Buckeyes has been seven. It's down to three. It's and Morgan clears a bad shot. He didn't force Indiana to exert any energy defensively. He didn't swing the ball and throw both sides of the floor. Quick shot leads to an opportunity. Turn over green. Kick it back. Washington. That's Jackson with a quick catch and finish. He the play to put the ball out in front of Jackson. So Jackson had no choice but to sprint and get it down. As a result, he not only threw it ahead of, but also of the trailing defenders. Don't forget our halftime report, courtesy of State Farm, coming your way. Dave Reps and John Crispin, Andy Katz, standing by on location here at the United Center. Three, and it's Joe with the rebound. So the Buckeyes forcing turnovers, disrupting play. 15 points off turnovers. Indiana has given it away nine times. And it's going to try it. Turnover Ohio State. Good defense, good team defense. Turnover. Now watch this pass. And Jackson has to sprint. If he puts that even half a tick behind, you saw the trailing defender there. He would have had a chance to make a play on the ball, but because of the court awareness of Washington, it led Jackson right in there and took away the opportunity for a back tackle. There was a foot race for Jackson and Langford. Langford wasn't ready for it. Indiana down flat with the ball. Under 30 to go. Here's Langford. And a turnover. He was looking for Morgan. He'll stay close to the down. Washington out of control. State's going to get a timeout right now. Shot clock is off. Chris Holtman and the Buckeyes can take the last shot. And now let's take a look at this message from ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire and the official hiring partner of the Big Ten Conference. Hiring was always a huge challenge. Endless hours on job sites with not a lot to show for. Then I found ZipRecruiter. They figured out hiring. I post my job. They put it all over the web, and they send me the right people, because their technology is smart. ZipRecruiter often sends me the right person in 24 hours. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Try it for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash Big Ten. The losers turning it over 10 times. Langford, the latest culprit. Looking for Morgan and a giveaway. Yeah, that's just the flat out unforced air. Tough start for Romeo Langford. Just three points. Made just one field goal. That was a three pointer early in this game. The Buckeyes with eight steals. They average 5.7 steals per game. 15 points on turnovers for Ohio State as they prepare for the last shot. Into their action. Here comes Woods. Tried to turn the corner. Langford with him. And Woods on the floor. Langford. Wow. And that was veteran move from the grad transfer. Keyshawn Woods from Wake Forest to Ohio State. Took the freshman to school. Nice job of utilizing experience and size. You back down the freshman. And look, they cleared out that entire side of the floor. All the other white jerseys are on the left side to allow. Find. 10 for 35 on three-pointers, 29%. It was a woeful shooting first half. Ohio State with a run, 13-6 to end the first half to give them a seven-point lead. And let's check in with Mike Hall for more from the halftime locker room. What do you have, Mike? Well, to your point, when I talked with Archie, I actually asked him about Romeo, and he said, I don't really want to talk about that. I want to talk about turnovers. We've had way too many because we're over-dribbling. And I said, what was something positive? He said, the aggressiveness of Devontae Green. Ten turnovers for the Hoosiers. Let's see if Indiana cleans it up. Jawan Morgan, double team. Here's Tennessee now. Shot clock, first possession of the second half down the floor. And Tennessee, wild shot. Bailey Wesson falls down the floor. Tennessee was hoping for some contact to bail him out there. He's kind of put it up there. Nice job by Wesson of doing a pretty good job of keeping the smaller player Tennessee in front. It's a big story coming back. Caleb Wesson returning after a three-game suspension. Nice look. Catches it deep. Wesson. And it's knocked away by Morgan. Well, Wesson's got to be stronger than that. He caught it right under the basket. And what a nice set by Ohio State that went for not. 
jump ball. Looked like they were going to take the three, but watch the duck in at the last moment. Then you bring the ball down. You go from 6-9 to 5-9, and that's self-inflicted. But you can't fault the effort of going inside to Weston, but there's no need to bring it down. Shin it, and they go right into the contact. Ended up as a held ball. Possession arrow belongs to Ohio State. So with Weston coming back, serving that suspension, they have not given any details of why the suspension came down. What have you seen from him? 9.7 boards at this point. I tell you what, he's been able to play more effectively in longer stretches than I might have imagined after being out for three games. Yes, he can, he can condition, but it's a whole lot different than playing a basketball game and doing a nice job. They did Ohio State of kind of putting a lot of support to us. Adiana Block, that allowed just to straight to interior feed to Caleb Weston. So Caleb has 11. Andre has eight. 19 of Ohio State's 37 points. Indiana's going to give it right back to the Buckeyes. Yeah, and what you saw was the hard cut in that near corner by Keyshawn Woods. Indiana had to pay attention, and then coming down the other way, that illegal screen source is another turnover for Indiana to start the second half. So biggest lead for Ohio State. They lost three in a row, all three of those games without Caleb Wesson. Never had a lead in those three games. Caleb Wesson again, no. Opportunity here. That's a long shot. And turn it over. He gets tripped over his own man. Well, they got him. They also called a foul. They got the illegal screen, it looks like, on Caleb Weston. And Caleb Weston is limping on his way back down the floor. Quick substitutions for Archie Miller. Justin Smith is on his way to the bench. Deron Davis will check in with two fouls. Devontae Green is in as well. He'll run the point. I know Mike talked to Archie between the halves here, and he's not interested in talking about Romeo Langford, but they have to get more on Romeo Langford. Romeo Langford has just three points, one big three-pointer early in the first half. Finished the first half, one for six. Colonel Davis gets it right to Caleb Wesson. That's the easiest skill Caleb Wesson might ever get, as if he wasn't here, the biggest guy on the floor. Ohio State ball, good defense and recovery on Dave Green. I mean, this is just an unforced error. We'll give him a steal on that? I mean, we'll be generous. Officially, we will. Nine steals. I know we give him. <laughs> Keyshawn Woods and a hot pass right to the feet. And look there, another example. Jackson goes down on the floor to dig it out. Giving his team yet another opportunity. Jackson and his nose bloody in the first half. Caleb Wesson for three. Yes. And Morgan clears it away. Indiana in transition. Needing something quick. It's a foul. Andre Wesson will be called for the foul. And a good job of sprinting the floor by the big Morgan. He did a rim run, Brian, and then what he did as he saw the dribbler Durham come at him, he turned around and effectively sealed off the help. Watch at the bottom, right there. And you saw Deron Davis kind of seal off the defender, eliminating an opportunity for a block shot. Looks like Wesson got him on the air. And Durham knocks the first one down. Schwab MG, NCAA tournament projection right now. He's got Indiana as the first four out. He's got Ohio State past the first four and into the tournament as a 12 seed. Be very interesting. These change. These are evolving. I think it's safe to say you can't definitively say the loser is going to be out of the NCAA tournament, but this is a huge game for NCAA tournament implications for both. They are sitting in very similar positions. C.J. Jackson for three! Big hit for the Buckeyes, and they continue to stretch the lead. And the difference between that three and the one he missed earlier was the extension on the follow-through. Answer, Devontae Green! He's done that twice. He had an answer for a three in the first. Neither one of these teams shooting well from behind the arc. All the three of them. You saw the officials he sprinted down the signal. They'll take a look at that the next dead ball timeout. And it's going to be a foul. They're going to get Wesson again on the screen. Let's see. I didn't see. I think they got the bumping of the cutter. 
Jawan Morgan. Jawan Morgan, you're right. Jawan Morgan on the foul. Yeah, he's yeah, that's, clear. that's easily a three. Even with the metric system, that's a three. So that's a third foul on Jawan Morgan. That was a swing foul right there. Because Caleb Wesson sitting there with two as well. Ends up with Morgan. Andre Wesson and into the hands of Morgan. So Caleb Wesson took one in the face. He's a little bit slow getting back. Morgan, no look pass. Durham for three. Dead, dead. Indiana just cannot find a bucket. That's a foul on Durham. He should call. To make some decisions here on personnel, not three. And it's appropriate, Brian, during tax season that your books are in order. That's right. There are rules that allow you to go to review, and bookkeeping is one of them. You're right. Ohio State ball. Oh, nice hesitation. Kicks it all with a finger roll. It's not always going 100 miles an hour all the time. Sometimes change of pace can really get you to the rim effectively. No better example than C.J. Jackson. Inside Davis had a good win. I save Smith and he calls the timeout. 14 on the shot clock. Indiana uses an early timeout. C.J. Jackson, a little hezzy. To get to them, it's not always he who hesitates his law first two minutes. Nothing easy at all for Romeo Langford. Three-point shooting has struggled all year at under 30% from behind the arc, and he hasn't been able to get any kind of momentum unfettered going to the rim. Nice job by Ohio State of defending him as a squad and moving their feet, making a clear path to the rim unavailable. By the way, more bookkeeping during that timeout. Bob Borowski comes over. It was not Devontae Green with the foul, so it was Al Durham who picked up both fouls. So just to clean it up, Jawan Morgan has two. Al Durham has two for Indiana. Devontae Green has one. Here's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going the good. other way, the screen by the And it'll be Ohio State ball after this timeout. Third foul on the turnovers at this point. And not just the number of turnovers, the difference in the number of actual turnovers, only two. 11 for Ohio State has been points off turnovers, which has really been the difference in allowing the Buckeyes to extend the seven point lead at halftime to nine here. Buckeyes with the basketball. Caleb Weston will sit for the time being. Keyshawn Woods, back to the third with the rebound. Up ahead to Green. Green's got Jawan Morgan. Now Morgan goes to work. Morgan. That'll send Morgan to the line. Kyle Young will be called for the foul, which will be his third. Hard play on that dribble drive by Morgan, by Deron Davis. Watch Davis well. The, we see the back end of it. Davis was on the block, and when he saw Morgan dribbling at him, rather than stay there and allow his defender to kind of rotate over, he vacated the area. That took the help with him. Another bloody nose for the Buckeyes. C.J. Jackson sprung a leak in the first half and contact underneath for Young. Officials will send him to the sideline. Caleb Weston back on the floor. Holton, I think, was ready to make a, a sub anyway. And here's Juwan Morgan to shoot two. Let's check in with Mike Hall. First off, someone on the Ohio State staff joked to me, they're not used to the altitude here, hence all the bloody noses. Uh, but in that last huddle, the, the guys were basically talking about, like you're saying, turnover's a big problem. The other thing they were really upset about is the rebound differential right now in the second half. All right, Mike, thank you. We don't see that here, are we, in Chicago? Last I checked. <laughs> The fact you get winded so easily has nothing to do with the altitude. Uh, I'm pleased climbing up two levels of stairs. Here's Jackson, hits the three. Boy, lying that one up through and knocks it down. C.J. Jackson now with 10. And he's a capable three-point shooter, 38% behind the line on the year. Ohio State. Trying to do add to it. Girl, lost the hand off by Douglas. Wow. Shallow and Woods come crashing down on Dirk. I think Durham's head hit the floor on the contact. Possession that was like scary. On the whistle, get ball.
the corner. Oh, man. That was the an elbow to the head. Oh, my goodness. And, and Durham was in just such an awkward position when he hit the ground. And the thing with Jell, he didn't need to. I mean, he's trying. Jell was up in the air. Again, that doesn't make it any way to for Durham. Good touch Inside Wilson. up against Caleb Wesson. He's going to pick up number four. 14-27 remaining in regulation. And with Davis going out, you're giving up a lot of size. Watch him give up the position right here. I mean, you you took him right underneath the rim, and if you're Davis there, you just have to allow Wesson to score. You're too valuable with those fouls. Caleb Wesson starting to stack them up now. He's got 12. Three for four from the line. A rebound shy of a double-double, and Archie Miller is going to have to make a play here with his personnel on the floor. Evan Fitzner, much less physical presence than Deron Davis. This is a key stretch now for Indiana. It's a 7-1 run for the Buckeyes. They're up 13. Since the first two minutes of the game, a nice utilization of that little dribble handoff allowed one of the few clean looks Lankford had all day. Lesson got loose inside. The last two possessions, you want to tip your hat to Caleb Wesson for his utilization of his body, but watch the spacing. Once he reverses the side of the floor, look at that. Nobody in the white jersey goes down there with a superfluous cut to take their defender with them. That allows the one-on-one -on -one for Wesson and a chance for a couple of foul shots. Back at the line he goes. It's three of four in front of the line. They get four or five. Caleb Wesson starting to put some stakes in the ground now. He'd missed three games. Ohio State losing all three of those games. The Buckeyes dropping six of their last eight. They were sitting pretty. And almost a sure bet for the NC tournament until this finish. Tennessee. Tennessee, nice finish with the left hand. And Indiana returns the favor, doing a really good job of spacing the floor and allowing Tennessee one-on-one. second that he holds the screen right there. That allows the pad a better passing angle for Langford to deliver. It's a part of his game that is so good. He's a willing passer, great passer, can score. Has not scored today, but he is a guy that can have an impact on a game. He's getting tipped to two on the sidelines. <laughs> trying to take advantage of the quickness factor on Fitzner. Fitzner did a pretty good job of moving his feet, and then the freshman Finnessy comes down and completes the sequence.
story of this game. Huge mistake, but how about the outlet pass by Caleb West? Beautiful. Tennessee, the three short. Well, that's off the quick. Eight quick shot, following a turnover. Lesson, Parker Brother. Good ball moving. Musitalo. Yes! Lesson keeps it alive. by Ohio State allowing the big fella opportunity to operate one-on-one -on -one. and when he space the floor properly that does not allow the double team to come down to be effective. 17-7 for Caleb Wesson. Morgan. Let's go! And such a great player in Bloomington. He's probably going to have to be a big part of it. Caleb Wesson do it. By the way, the update on Al Durham is he's ready to roll. They think part of the reason he was hit so hard was the surprise value took him out of the game. But he's good to go back whenever they need him. All right, thanks. Mike Langford is back on the floor. So athletic trainer Tim Stahl tending to him. Morgan cannot complete the three-point play. And it's a ten-point game. Ohio State with the lead and the ball. Langford has taken just one shot in this second half. Nice defense by Green. Really good job, Brian. He faked like he was going to come down and take away the angle and kind of split the difference because he had a guy in the corner. He was cognizant of potential kick out. Really good job defensively by Devontae Green to split the difference. Watch him right here. Fake. That forces the ball handler to pick it up and then active hands. Good job by Green. C.J. Jackson turns it over, surrounded by Hoosiers. It is an area of concern down the stretch in any game for Chris Holtman, and that's typically when you see Keyshawn Woods handle the ball. They've got a couple of point guards coming next year. Ohio State, they feel like it will improve significantly. Holtman for three, five, and finish. Three pointer for Luther Muhammad. Good patience in the post by Caleb Wesson. He waited for the team, then he located the location of that double team and kicked it weak side to Muhammad. Really nice job of passing out. Tennessee has an answer. Does not Jackson with a rebound. Our guys in transition. Woods gives it back to Muhammad. Returns a favor. Jackson. Three pointers out. Tennessee the ball. for Ohio State came off a double team. Watch the baseline. Muhammad's able to kind of go across the baseline. Wesson waits for the double team, which comes right here. No one locates Muhammad. They lost sight of him on that baseline cut. Easy three. 18 assists so far in the afternoon for the Buckeyes, resulting in 20 wins, 21 made field goal. And Indiana has 15 turnovers to add to the mix on the other side. Fitzner. Here's Langford down for three. Woods pulls down the board. 56 43, Ohio State. Caleb West with Morgan Lee. Backs him down. Come the Hoosiers. is a presence inside. And what you're starting to see is a little bit of fatigue kick in for Juwan Morgan. Because of the foul trouble that Juwan Davis has found himself in, look at Morgan, he's grabbing his shorts because he's having to exert so much energy on the defensive end of the floor, negating his ability to really back your offense. That's the matter of Caleb has 12 rebounds now. 17 points. Oh, he's not sit down. That's his sweet spot. He's Sean Woods. Watch Juwan Morgan coming down the floor. He is gassed right now, absolutely gassed. 
Timeout, Indiana. Crunch time here. Ohio State trying to run away and hide. A lot of game to play. 8.33 remaining in regulation. But the Buckeyes, just a different looking team with their star player, Caleb Wesson, on the floor. Caleb Wesson with a double double. Seven and three, Sean, when he shoots over 50%. 22 and four when he's got five or more made field goals. Caleb Wesson is five for 15 today. He's in one three-pointer. A lot of his points have come from the line. Yet another double-double for Wesson as we take a look at this was projected right now by Howie Schwab. Indiana first four out. Ohio State. Firmly entrenched in a 12 seed. It does feel like it's certainly not definitive, but it feels like the winner of this game will have a great shot to make it to the NCAA tournament. The loser, who knows? Big possession for Indiana. They're all big right now. You gotta fight your way back without 15. Not a very good three-point shooting team. If you're going to up, no. And it's clear by Woods. Ohio State can add to it. And now because Morgan is so tired, just slipping down and trying to draw the defensive assignment on Wesson. Foul on Indiana, Dre Wesson looking for his first points of this second half. Older brother of Caleb. It's a third foul on Al Durham. Excellent defender is Andre, he's a blue guy. Wisconsin in that overtime loss. It's a monumental comeback by Ohio State, but it did result in a loss. They were down 22 at one point. They were able to force overtime. Andre knocks it down. 60 43. After one and two at the line for Andre Wesson, 17 point Buckeye lead. defensive end of the floor, which has certainly been the difference here today. You have to go up stronger than that around the rim. Ron Davis, and the residual effect has been that Jawan Morgan for long periods of time had to guard him defensively, and I think it impacted his ability to score. Double-double for Caleb, 17 and 13. Romeo Langford goes to the hole. To the for Weston, into the hands of Victor. And Victor puts it back for two. 300 pounds in high school. Former Ohio Miss basketball from Westerville, Ohio. His great touch, soft hands. His dad, Keith, played for the Buckeyes in the 80s. The big body. They've been missing Ohio State. Jackson. Jackson almost dug down out between two Indiana Hoosiers. Jackson's got 10 in the second half. Davis, four fouls. Fensner for three. Can make a play. That would be a big 
people in my position. Fisher can get going. And a nice job by Fisher. He's given them some good quality minutes, not just offensively, but like what we've seen the last two sequences. But he's also was very effective for periods of time coming over from that weak side double team on Wesson. from St. Mary's. St. Mary's beat Gonzaga. To earn a spot, maybe stealing a bend from a team like an Ohio State or an Indiana. We'll see. Jackson, shot clock down to four. Jackson goes to the hole. Your offense there come together, and it's going to be a state ball. Indiana might have got a break. Jackson running into a wall there. His momentum took him. Made that a very difficult shot. You can see his momentum was taking him to the left side of the basket and he tried to put it up on the right. Under two minutes, they can check it. I think they got the call right. It looked like Jackson touched it last. He's eagle eye. This one is today the Big Ten. Big shot. job of getting beat set while the pass was in the air. Durham draws the defense. You can see that little rhythm hop right there by Green allows it to step into the three. He has been superlative from behind the arc. Six of eight from deep on his way to 20 points for the Indiana Hoosiers today. And if you're in the Ohio State huddle right now, you've kind of gotten away for periods of time of playing from Caleb Wesson, especially if Deron Davis is in the ballgame with those four fouls. You can tell that Indiana is trying to save Juwan Morgan until the next media timeout, if they possibly can, to keep him fresh on the offensive end. If you're Ohio State, you want to go right inside to your big fella with Deron Davis checking in before. Well, Devontae Green, the junior out of New Jersey, has led this bench attack. This is an 11-0 run for the Hoosiers. All 11 points coming from the IU bench, including a three by Fitzner. Plus 20, scoring for Indiana. They are down nine. Ohio State with a lead in the ball. And then Green with a steal. Green's got Fitzgerald on his way. Oh! Oh!
13. Six boards as well. And he's guarded Langford most of the game. The take oh, oh, able to get to that left hand. They clear that side of the floor. And he's able to turn the corner on Woods. He's a screaming and one, even as he was in the air. Eight-point game. Now, if you're at Ohio State, you don't want to let this defensive intensity of Indiana speed you up unnecessarily. You have to be if the floor is spaced properly with how aggressively Indiana is defending everything to maybe get something going through the rim. Hoosiers have just one timeout. This play is a gap. Takes behind the back, turns it over. There's a timeout on the floor. So finally, the media timeout. On the turnover for Ohio State, the Hoosiers will have the ball. Keish Hall, two seconds on the shot clock. It look right there. It does not look like it touches the hands because the rotation of the ball does not change. All right, so instead of Indiana ball, the Buckeyes have a chance to score here. They're going to have to get one up quickly, though. C.J. Jackson to be the man to put it in. And here is Woods who flies it and hits it. He lost Romeo Langford. And Ohio State salvages a bucket out of that. We said at the top, Keyshawn Woods is a good barometer for how well Ohio State plays. And right now, here in Buckeye Nation, it's 75 and sunny. Deron Davis. Davis scores, and one. Davis playing with four fouls since early in this second half. Of a chance at a three-point possession. Up, under, step through, take the contact. Really good job by Deron Davis playing with four fouls. And then Langford just got caught. He bought the hard cut by Woods, but if Woods doesn't cut hard, meaning misdirection and get Langford off balance, he's not going to be able to utilize that screen as effectively. Good job of cutting with a purpose by Keyshawn. Oh, these are mistakes that have dogged Indiana during their stretch when they just could not get off the deck. They started 12 and 2 this year, then lost seven in a row, and then they lost 11 of 12. Their lone win was against Michigan State in overtime. But they have turned it around. And Hoosier fans all over the country feeling like Archie Miller's team was finally back to what they could be. They were a top 25 team earlier this season. Had big wins earlier this year. Marquette earlier this year and Assembly Hall. They also defeated Louisville, a team that beat Michigan State also in the non-conference slate. So a lot to like as the, new, as the calendar year turned for the Indiana Hoosiers. Time is Andre Wesson knocks down two clutch free throws. Ten point Buckeye lead. Minute and a half to go. Each team has scored on four straight possessions. Fitchner for three. Yes! Same spot. He's at two. And a quick foul on Muhammad. Free throws for the Buckeyes. Fitzner has given Indiana a big lift, not just offensively with a couple of threes, eight points here in the last six minutes, but also the job he did defensively in terms of utilizing that double team with a purpose on Caleb Wesson. So Fitzner, a big lift off the bench for Coach Archie Miller. First foul on Romeo Langford. Muhammad at the line, 76% free throw shooter, misses. And it's into the hands of Green. What a breakaway, good pass. Langford. Right Green threaded the needle with that pass on the bounce. Oh, yeah. Indiana possession. And what Indiana was able to do. Take a look at where this ball is inbound and where Ohio State catches it. You catch it. Here comes the double team. You really have three defenders because the third is inanimate as it may be is the end line so Jackson really hemmed in. Ohio State was up 20. It's the closest Indiana has been this half. They've got to win five. They're going to the lead. All fresh from Big Ten. Gets it back. Wait for the game. Yes! Three point. Four point pressure. And Chris Holtman who has two timeouts will take one right here. One possession game, 55-9 left. 
What a way to get the day started here in the Big Ten Tournament. And how about the response by Indiana? I mean, they were down huge, and it just put together a remarkable run. Capped right here, 26-9, and it's capped by the freshman, Romeo Langford. Langford has had a rough day. But he scores a big one right here, his third made field goal. 7-15 remaining in this second half. In regulation, Ohio State was up 20. Ohio State will have the ball. Possession arrow belongs to the Buckeyes. And each team with a timeout remaining. Both teams in the bonus. Next Indiana foul will send Ohio State to the double bonus. And then Ohio State, pretty good foul shooting team at 73%, but the only reason that may come into effect is because of the run put together by Indiana. Fisher off the bench really getting the job done. Deron Davis playing with four fouls, showing his ability to score through traffic. And Romeo Langford, who has been held in check for long periods of time, making his presence felt here in the last two or three minutes of clock time. That game reset sponsored by SoFi, rethinking personal finance. 26-9 run during the stretch of 6-14. These two teams on the bubble in a big way. Howie Schwab has Indiana out currently, has Ohio State in the 12 seed. It could all change. It will all change after this game today. You take a look at the players on the floor for Ohio State. The worst foul shooters are going to play the percentages for the Indiana Hoosiers would be the freshman Dwayne Washington at 63% from the line. With the ball and the lead. One possession game. Drew Woods. You don't give it up unless you're fouled or unless you're forced to give it up on a dribble drop. Is their best ball handler. Woods has 16 points. Just hit a big two. On the take against Blackford. And he hits again. Keyshawn Woods with 18. And again, it's Wesson who vacates the area and then completes the play. By walling off any kind of help that can come over. Almost a turnover. He got a mismatch for Caleb Wesson. Here's Fitzner on the drive. Gives it up. Davis is back. No! It's going the other way. Offensive foul. Fitzner crashing into his opponent. And Indiana has turned it over again. I think this might have been Caleb Wesson who slipped and took the contact. He's outside the restricted area. Oh. Takes it right in the chest. Caleb Wesson takes the charge and takes the life out of the Hoosiers. Now I gotta get a quick foul. <laughs> Using the last timeout, Andre Wesson. Boy, that was a turn of events. You're talking about a basket to make it a three-point instead. Offensive foul to put the ball back in the hands of the Buckeyes. And rather than block the shot, Take that risk. Wesson made sure that he was high the restricted area. He clearly established himself there on the dribble drop. Keyshawn Woods has been fantastic here today. And watch the bottom of your screen right there. You see Caleb Wesson walling off Deron Davis. Not only did he vacate the end, but right there, boom, you take away Deron Davis. That allows the one-on-one -on -one for Keyshawn Woods. Good two-man game. He wanted the ball in the hands of Keyshawn Woods. He showed you why. He had a game-high 19 points against Creighton back in November. Woods, 18 on the board right now. He averages just seven a game. He has been money today. All that experience. He's handled the pressure. On the run out. Recovers and finishes, and it's back to a seven point lead. Green, the long three. Hey! It's still alive. Indiana will use their last timeout. Devontae Green with 23 points. Still a two possession game, but they're still breathing. How close was Durham to a steal? Really close. And looked like he mistimed his jump. Maybe by half a step. Then on the other end, Devontae Green. Woo. 23 points. That was his seventh 
made three-pointer. He has had some costly turnovers, but there's no doubt about his scoring ability. Seven out of nine from behind the arc has given Indiana at least a puncher's chance in this one. Seven of nine from behind the arc for a team that came into this game, Brian, last in the conference in three-point shooting percentage as a squad at 31%. Coming up right after this game, Big Ten game break presented by Discover. And then we'll rack it up for Maryland and Nebraska. Probable win by the Huskers yesterday, playing shorthanded. And a defeat of Rutgers. Maryland will be participating in their first of the Big Ten tournament. And a quick turnaround for Nebraska. And a quick turnaround with only six scholarship players for Coach Tim Miles' team. No timeouts. Andre Wesson can run the baseline if he chooses after the made basket. He'll be the man to put it in. If not a steal, a quick foul for the Hoosiers. And Green got a hand on it. It's going to stay in the possession of Ohio State. Now they're pinned in the corner. And you, can, you cannot run now. Now that opportunity has been eliminated, so you could put somebody, in this case a taller player, and really funnel Ohio State to one particular area of the floor. And Bill Eck pumping the whistle here. If they want to make sure the clock is accurate. Right now it sits at 11.4. No timeouts either way, but with a review, you can buy one. So each coach can have a discussion. Morgan, Blankford, Green, Durham. Fitzner, the five on the floor. Take a look at the top of your screen. Yeah, maybe 11-8. 11-8, yeah. 11-8. And Brian, if you are Ohio State, we saw their willingness to go deep a few possessions ago. You have to emphasize that if you throw it deep, if you can't catch it, you need to make sure you get a hand on it so the clock starts. You can't allow a long pass to go with no one touching it, because if that happens, then it will go all the way back down to this end of the floor. So if you're Ohio State, you have to say, look, we may have an option to go long, and if you can't catch it, you have to make sure that you get your hand on it to get that clock started. So they put 11-9 on it. You missed it by a tenth of a second, Sean. Again, always by uh, a tenth. So there'd be no math, Brian. Four-point lead. Ohio State now buried in the corner. Caleb Wesson, their tallest player, will put it in. Cannot run the floor. He gets it to his brother, and there's a quick foul. Jawan Morgan fouls Andre Wesson, and he'll have two free throws. That's foul number four on Morgan. Wesson is a pretty good foul shooter, as is his whole Ohio State squad at 74%. And Wesson has made four out of four from the line here tonight. Again, questions about the clock and how much time elapsed at play. Officials won't go to the monitor. They're declaring 11-3 is a good time. Two free throws here for Wesson. Miss. And if you're Caleb Wesson down there, the one thing you want to make sure you do not do on a potential miss is foul. And send Indiana to the line for the chance to cut into the lead the clock stop. Two, five point game. No timeouts, either team. Substitutions in. Lucid Jallo enters. What you're doing defensively now if you're Ohio State, you're certainly not. You want to keep guys in front and make you go side to side, not north south. Langford. Gets it up, Green, long three again. Oh, are you kidding? He's hit another. 5.1 left. It's a two-point game. Three-pointer number eight for Green. He falls, Wesson gets it in. Gotta get a foul. They do foul. Wow. Was that close to a turnover? Archie Miller is saying there's a potential travel on the inbounds. But after the main basket could run the floor, I thought he, he fell down, but he stayed his ground. 
You, know, you can run. And watch. He loses his feet and gets rid of it. Wow. And I tell you, the other thing I like, you know, Coach Archie Miller, just like his squad, has been fighting like crazy to get back into this ball game. His emotions kind of ramped up, and the officials came over and calmed him down, but they didn't insert themselves by calling the tackle. Makes it a three-point lead for Ohio State. This free throw could secure the win for the Buckeyes. Jackson got it. Clutch free throw. And the Buckeyes are up four and not enough time for Indiana. They'll let him shoot. That takes us to the end. The Ohio State Buckeyes snapping a three-game losing streak. Saw a 20-point lead almost get away, but they win it, and they will advance to the quarterfinals against Michigan State tomorrow.